Well, just multiply to get that. <laughs> so you got three times twelve gave you that. What gave you that? Wanna go get your book? Make sure you write your rule. Yes. So I figured out that it's 6, okay? So 18 times 6, is that what you get? Okay. So now figure out. So he multiplied so you have to put your 6 here. To get his answer. So for one day, he got and Now you got to find out where you have to. Divide the number of meters by blank to find the number of laps. For the second day, he got 6 times 4, gave him 24. His third day did 9 so times 4, which gave him four 36. Times what number would give his you fourth one? day, 12 times 4, times 4, gave him 48. And on his eighth day, What's he did 24 four times, what number times gives 16. 4, gave him 96. Next question. 5. Divide the weight of the bag by to find the number of marbles. Four, so day four. one, if you we'll divide you the weight of bags 30 by so what to give you 10? Four times what number would give you 160? 30 divided to what gives you 10? Yeah. So you got to write your rule up here. And then 36 divided into 3. Four times four is one twenty. Did y'all see how he got that? Four times yeah. forty. So he did thirty into three is ten, and sixty into three so is twenty. Four times what number? And the same thing if he was doing ten times three gets him thirty. So Sage, you are at number four. Multiply the number of eggs by to find the number of muffins. So batch one. Two eggs times what gives you twelve? So two times five gives you twelve? What's six? So your rule you're saying is six, right, Sage? So 2 times 6 is 12, and 4 times 6 is 24, and 6 times 6 is 36, and 4 times 6 is 48. So what is 12 number of eggs times 6? How many muffins would you get? 54. Y'all see how she had, got her rule? And that is incorrect. Eighteen times six. What is eight times six? Let's erase that. Eighteen times six. So it's forty-eight and six times one plus four. <coughs> so it's 108. Because 18 times 6 gave her 108 muffins. Divide the number plus number 5. Sayu. Divide the number of meter by to find the number of left. We're going to do it together. Look, Sai. So, Sayu, 4, so 1,600 divided by what gives you 4? 
What is 16 divided by? What was 16 divided? What four times what gives you 16? Four. Four. So what do we have to add to our four? So what are we dividing by? 400. And 3,200 divided by 400 gives us 8. 4,800 divided by 400 gives us 12. So 64 divided by 400 gives us what? Gives us what, Sayu? What is 34 divided by 4? Yes. 16. Thank you, Brian. 16. Did y'all see how me, Sayu, and Brian got our rule of dividing the number of meters by 400 to find the number of lots? Because you could have took off your zeros and did 14 times 4 gives us 16. And then add our zeros at the end, like we did. Now it says the hot one. Suppose the number of eggs used in exercise four is changed to three eggs. So we're gonna do this together. So it says suppose the number of eggs used in exercise four. So this is the problem that we're using. And G so put we're it away. So use three eggs instead of two, right? So, took three eggs for each batch of 12, and 48 are used. How many batches and how many muffins will be made? So, three times what gives us 12, guys? Four. <coughs> so, we have to times four. And then we have to add three more. So three times three is what? So six times four is what? 24. And then if we add another three, that's nine. And nine times four is what? What is nine times four? Yes, Sayer. Nine times four? 36. Yes, you can. So that's 36. So if we add three more, nine plus three is what? 12. And 12 times four is what? 48. So do y'all see the pattern? And then if we go up until we get up to nine, so what is 12? So we do five, right? Five batches. 12 plus three is what? And 15 times four is what? What is 15 times four? What is five times four? And four times one? Plus two? So then it'd be 60 for muffin. Then if we do six batches and we do 15 plus three is what? Fifteen plus three is what? Eighteen. And eighteen times four. What is eight times four? And four times one plus three? Seventy-two. Seven batches. What is eighteen plus three? And twenty-one times four? And two times four? And eight batches. And what is 21 plus 3? 24. 
and 24 times 4? 16. 4 times 4 is 16, and 2 times 4 plus 1? So 96 muffins. And now 9. 24 plus 3? 27. And what is 27 times 4? What is 7 times 4? And 2 times 4 plus 2? It's still 108 muffins. So even if we change it, how many batches and how many muffins will be made? So how many muffins will be made at batch 9? How many eggs? So nine batches gives us 27 eggs. And how many muffins? How many muffins? <coughs> so even if we was to do three, start out with three instead of two. We still end up with 108, but 29A. You see how we get that, Henry? Yeah. You see how we got that, Frankie? Uh-huh. Well, let me turn around and make sure we write it down. Oh, Tyre. If I'm just coming around to make sure we're writing it. Thank you. So nine batches is 27 eggs and 108 muffins. So we're gonna get our practice books out. Multiplying, so we're times it by 50. 
and it says 4 times 50, it gave us 200. The second number is 8. For the second swimmer, then 12. 